Hello everyone, it's Karina with the Let Us Live Homesteading channel and the Let Us Live channel. Um, today, I am getting my propane tank refilled. It's been super cold and so with the propane, you use a lot more gas when you're heating the home. And I don't have like natural gas that comes from the city, so I don't have a gas bill. I heat my home, I heat my hot water heater, every, the gas I cook with propane, all of it comes from the propane tank. And so every so often you have to get it filled. Now, when you're homesteading, you are solely responsible for everything. So I am responsible for checking the propane tank to make sure I'm not running out. It got really, really close um, this last week. I got down to nearly 20%. You really don't want to be that low because if something happens and the propane company isn't able to come out and fill your tank, you're going to be without heat because you are not relying on the city and you're not relying that you're paying this bill every month. And so mine's got pretty low. Um, this is my first year and I think um, the learning part that I would like to share is that you're going to use more propane in the winter time because you use more gas heating your home than you do with cooking and things like that. And so it was super cold and I was using more heat and the propane gas was just really going a lot faster than I had been regulating in the summertime. In the summertime, I really wasn't using that much propane because you're just really using it to heat up your hot water and for your cooking. So it wasn't using that much. So, so today we have the propane company here there's the propane tank over there they are coming and they are going to um, fill our tank with propane now when they initially come out for the first time they've got to do a leak test and then after they do the leak test they also have to go up in your attic and make sure everything is sufficient and do all of this the initial time before they can fill your propane tank so today this com this is a new company that i'm using and just like with any sort of commodity or gas, prices fluctuate. So I called around and this was about, I think 42 to 45 cents cheaper per gallon. And so that's why I went with a different company this time. So I do have the advantage of shopping around and see who has the least inexpensive propane at the time. Now the propane gas is a little bit more during the winter months, of course, because people are using it and a lot, lot less expensive in the summer. So I caught myself getting filled up around September to make sure I wouldn't need it. I thought it was gonna last me through the entire winter because it lasts me several months in the summertime. Well, that's not true and I'm needing to fill it up. And then there is a 25 I think 20% gap like so they can only fill up to like 80% because you've got to leave uh, enough for air to f the, so they don't fill the propane tank all the way up there has to be some air so today we are going to get that propane tank and I hope to show you some of that process and um, it, I'm excited again about the opportunity to do homesteading and I hope some of my tips and video uh, help you along this journey remember always hit the like button or subscribe or share this information if you find it valuable and helpful all right let's go see what's going on all right you all today we have Richard here with Williamson and he is doing a leak test this is my first time using their service and anytime you have a new company coming out to provide propane to your tank they come in and they do a leak test and guess what I can smell that gas okay Richard tell us what you're doing we're doing a leak test which is below what we call lock up and uh, we basically leave the system down on everything we don't turn anything off in the house we want to make sure that all the appliances are out and really work and stuff like that and then once you leave the system down then you have to pressure it up to nine inches of water column and then it has to hold that for at least three minutes. And what does that do? So it holds what, the propane? It holds the pressure. Oh, the, the pressure. pressure. Yeah, on the line. And so the pressure is what pushes out from the propane tank well, to the house? Well, the pressure is your whole line. Okay. And we're doing it what we call below lockup. Uh, on a 
regulator. So the system is, is equalized all okay. the way through. So if you have any leaks anywhere on the system, it will show up. So it has to hold for three minutes. If it drops during that three minute time period, then there's a leak somewhere. Okay. And we have to figure out, you know, where it's leaking. Could be a valve, could be a, a appliance connector, could be the line yard line or something like that. And leaking is dangerous because it could be leaking in the home. It could that be could leaking be in the home, it could be leaking outside. So you have to figure out, you know, where it's leaking. Okay. But on a new system, uh, our insurance company requires us, and also the Royal Commission requires us to come in and inspect everything, make sure that everything's working properly and uh, don't have any all right, and today we are leak free. Right. So you don't fill it all the way up. There has to be like some uh, gas, right? This is a 250 tank. On all tanks, you fill them to 80 percent. Okay. And that's considered maximum. Each, these are percentage gauges on the propane tank. Okay. So each 10 percent. So right now you're about 25 percent. So uh, probably to fill it up. Okay. And why do they leave like gas? Well, I'm just, just checking the on off valve because once you turn it back on, you want to make sure that there's no leaks around here. And then also where my plug was, where my fitting was on this regulator, you want to make sure that it's not leaking there too. We have a little bit over 20%. Yeah, about 25, something like that. Like I said, each 10% on this tank is equal to 25 gallons. So if you were to buy 100 gallons, it should bring, bring you up somewhere around 60 plus percent, 65 percent. Okay. If you fill it up, it, somewhere around 80. Tank does need a little... TLC. Mine does. It would not hurt to have a paint job on it and also it's to up and, okay. uh, get up off the ground, have a little more clearance on the ground. So that may be something that needs to be addressed in summer. Why do I need to paint it? What's because important? you want to paint it a heat reflective color. Ah. Uh, it can be painted other colors other than the silver that's on there. You can actually paint it uh, in light color, pastels, pink, light blue. No uh, black, no red, no maroon. Uh, got to be painted a heat reflective color because propane when it gets hot it expands and it has more pressure to it so you want to make sure that you, your tank is cool we prefer actually white the cool color white because it is actually like the coolest tanks so do i need to buy a particular type of paint or uh you want to use kind of a rust-oleum type base paint. rust-oleum yeah something okay. that something that's a good for metal uh good you don't no latex nothing like that because it won't stick to it. Okay, and Rust-Oleum? Well, just a kind of a, a, I mean, that's a name brand, but you want to use something that is similar to that, that has, that is made from metal. Okay, uh, made from metal. You want to sand it down and then uh, basically put a little primer on it if you have to, depending on the paint you buy. Uh, some paint paints are already have primer gel, so you don't have to do that. And should I paint the inside of that cap too? Uh, that's not actually necessary. Okay. Uh, we have found though that if you paint it black on the inside of the dome, uh -huh. that a lot of times you do not have wasp in the nest. And then I need to lift it up. Yes, ma'am. Why do um, I need to lift it up? Because you you don't want it in contact with the ground because it, when it's in contact with the ground, it's going to cause it to corrode and also uh, the propane sweat or rain water in it. That it caused the bottom of the tank to rot. So it's not off the ground now? Uh, it's close. It's really close on this end. It wouldn't hurt to get this end picked up with just a little bit more. But you want to try to make sure that the air is flowing underneath it really good and everything like that so that way it kind of keeps it dry. You want to make sure that you do have dogs. No dogs. And that uh, if you do have neighbor dogs, that they're not coming around visiting your tank in March. Oh. It will, it will cause the propane tank to rot out in about 10 years. Alright, you all, we are filling up the propane tank. Oh, remote control? Wow, y'all are fancy. It's nice. I don't have to walk back to the truck. Now I'm going to open the thick gauge on this, what we call a thick gauge. Okay. It's a thick liquid level gauge. It's right here, once we get a little bit closer to being full. Okay. So I know I can see with the gauge. 
Because what this has is a dip tube that goes down to the 80% mark. Oh, okay. And whenever the liquid starts coming out, then that tells me the tank is full. And is it kind of like going to the gas station and just filling up your tank? Um, somewhat. And uh, usually on that, you know, when you fill your tank up, it clicks off. This does not click off. It'll fill it up to 100% if I just let it keep pumping. So you do have to have somebody here to, to verify, you know, the, the level. But we're not actually supposed to use the gauge. Like a reference. You're not supposed to use it. Yeah, the railroad commission says you're not supposed to use that because gauge is can be off. So this is if you're filling it up, this is what you're supposed to use. Is so wait most, till it spills out? Well when it starts spitting white oh, okay. vapor or white uh, liquid. Okay. But I don't like opening it up too soon because that way you don't have gas going everywhere. When it gets full, it'll be spitting out uh, white smoke. That's that way you know where you're, you're, uh, you're full. Right at eighty percent, so your your leg age and your uh, full coincide.